What is going on gamers? Hope you're doing well today and welcome back to Predecessor. Today we're going to be playing The Fae. I think Fae is honestly, or The Fae I suppose is more accurate, is uh, probably the best mid thinner actually in Predecessor right now. I think she's super strong. Her late game power is so insane. Uh, using her flytrap ultimate combo, you could basically just obliterate any carry in the game and then do a crazy amount of damage to any frontline as well. And if you manage to, you know, hook three, four people with your plant, the team fight is just over immediately. Uh, thanks to utilizing her passive, which spawns more of her RMBs. Um, she basically just pops off super hard. I think her wave clear gets really solid really quickly. So I also think that she is the best mid right now. Today's build, we're going to be doing Azure Core into Megacosm. This is kind of the other core. Uh, I think in the last video, I talked about Combustion Wraith Leggings when I was playing Countess. This is the other core that I really like right now in the game, which is Azure Core into, Azure core into Megacosm. Gives you a really big mana pool, and then uh, stacks a lot of ability haste. So if you are playing a champion that has um, a lot of uh, multi-hit effects, like the phase RB, like how it's his ultimate, um gadget or you know gadgets are b gadgets all like yeah, characters like this i think can really utilize this build effectively even gideon could use it um usually like using his ultimate um yeah if you if you do have those kind of spells i think you can really take advantage of this build using mary cosm's reapplying effect where if you do another tick of damage uh it will instantly burn for half of the total of mary cosm so essentially <laughs> if you use phase rb uh you stack up this this burst really quickly and you can poke super super effectively um and it just flows really well with the way her kit plays out uh, I think she doesn't really have a lot of early game power. She is more of a scaling mage. So I like over this Azure Core opening, which lets you scale a lot more effectively. I'm still a big fan of Epoch. You guys know that I can't get enough of the stasis. I love utilizing it. And then after that, you go to like the Colstica, the Oblivion Crown. And then for your final options, you know, you've got Golem's Gift, Spellbreaker, Astral Catalyst, uh, Tainted, if you need anti heal, if you are against like the menace that is Countess right now, stuff like that. So yeah, it's just a lot of uh, standard options, pretty, pretty regular build, but she does, she utilizes it really, really well. Um, for a skill order, gonna be starting with the R&B, get the early wave clear into the, personally I prefer the Q, you could also go for the, the E level 2 as well, you could trade a bit more effectively, but I generally don't like Harvest Nettles as a spell in Predecessor in general, that's also the reason why I recommend maxing it last, is I think the spell is actually pretty weak right now, it's not super uh, effective even if you're using it quite aggressively, I feel like the damage just isn't really there until like you get to like, you know, the max charges, it takes a really long time, the projectile is really small, it's pretty difficult to hit. Overall, I'm just not a huge fan of it, but you can go ahead and max Harvest Idol second if you do prefer it over her Q ability. But for me personally, uh, this is the skill order that I recommend and I think works the best for me. And just enables her to get that wave clear going. You'll see in this game um, how I'm just constantly shoving waves, clearing waves really quickly, and she does farm the map so fast uh, using her Q and her RMB, uh, which I'm a big fan of, which enables you to scale and get to that late game really effectively. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. If you do, you can leave a like for the video, it would help out the channel. You'll subscribe for more content like this. And if you want to see these games live, I'm live every day on Twitch, Sunday through Friday at 10 a.m. CET. So come down, you know, check out the games yourself, watch some games live. <laughs> Maybe you'll catch me feeding for once, you know, because I'm never uploading those to YouTube. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Prepare for battle. We are the Amarin. We are the forest. Yeah, I went around just misspelling words. Oh, Jake. Mm. Look at enemy team, also stacked. Hang on, this guy can't even spell gophers. I'm out of here. They got Met Boy, they got TD3, they got Dr. Snoop 1. Just read it. <laughs> Sorry, Miss Jackson. Minions are spawned. Just read it. I don't know. Why are you being weird about it? Kai offlane? Oh, okay, I was gonna say. He's spending so much time in the river, dude. And they were really brawling over there, huh? Even Gideon showed up. Throw some rocks or something. How do I have aggro? They weren't even in the lane, man.
Ouchie. Oh, if a mage is sucking, ah, oh, they're just too weak early game. There's a reason why matchups like this are so low stakes. Because all I'm doing is just shoving with. He's trying to fight me, but I'm just ignoring him. He's spending all of his mana on fighting me instead of pushing with. Now he has no mana. He's stuck at the tower the rest of his life. But I have no actual kill threat because my champion doesn't do any damage. Sorry, my hero. Attack. It's more like, if you play a melee, it's like Countess or Kalari, you just see how much you could do early game compared to if you play a bitch, which just does nothing early game. <laughs> I just don't see a way that mages are better than just playing melee mids for now. I am O. You're done with Persona? Yeah, but is it because you beat Shido? Oh, for real? Yeah, but that's why I'm saying, what's the last thing you've done? It's just more like in the context of like mid lane as a whole, I think may just take too long to actually be relevant compared to just playing other characters in mid. That's my early take, but you know. They're good, but they get items. Allied top under attack. Ally has He's a wave? Well, compared to what? What do you mean? Hmm? Me, him? What? For 50 damage? A pop? Yo, sick, dude. You're right. Literally less damage than an ultra attack in early game. <laughs> True. What do you mean? You get the mana back if you lost it with E as well. What are you talking about? I'm just trying to farm out here, man. Report. I'm about to report, report. Two to five? What's going on, man? We're getting blasted in the mirror matchup. That's what's going on. Oh, apparently Gideon's roaming. There he is. Happens, I guess. Personally, it's kind of because I got pushed out by Chimera. I had to fix it. Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> what is Ra doing exactly? <laughs> I guess he had the execute. Or he's crazy. Oh, dude. Oh, uh, kind of like some guy misses Q on the wave there, but that would be embarrassing. Why does this guy always have zero mana? Oh, because he's a cult crest as well. That explains it. What was he thinking going a cult crest, dude? Doesn't he know that it's literally unplayable? Clearly doesn't watch my stream too that much. I was wondering why he was always out of mana. Like, I know he was using a lot of spells, but he was really out of mana. He got me. That's so annoying, dude. My support was here to save the day. What a hero. <laughs> and then his ADC instantly dies. <laughs> I'm not sure Drongo really has kill pressure in the, uh, the Drongo Murdoch matchup, regardless of Circle Pill. Kinda weird. Yeah, yeah. Alright guys, we just scale play volley game. An ally has perished. Ally tower under attack. <laughs> You might get thanked you, but I do not get mid tower. Did you think about that? So weird. My support's just like moving from his lane. And I figured it just couldn't be done. Mad work done, get a word. 2v3. Can't really be upset about it, can you? Enemy tower is under attack. Power of the it's like, oh no, we only killed two of them in this 2v3. Ah. Enemy tower under siege. Freaking Decker, dude. Chilling. 115 at 11. Big chilling, dude. Is this worth building first? I don't think so. If I can afford this, um, it's so weird to be our weak potent stuff. Is like you pay more? I don't. It's so strange. It's so much weaker. Like. Well, the point is it's like slot efficiency, I guess, right? But it's just so much less power. Oh. That's good, bro. I think I missed my farm, <laughs> but he hit the thug, so it's fine.
I always trust it in, in Ray. He never misses. <laughs> This fiasco. Ooh, Bush Wookie coming up big. Enemy tower under siege. Maybe I should have walked right here. It's kind of obvious that Kadim is going to come, but. Alright, looks like they did go right. Mm, I love the farm, dude. My left lane do be getting a little blasted. How much can one countess do, really? Clueless? Ray was coming. Brit. Yeesh. It's done by Dekka. Good game. Time to stay soullessly at the, at the black screen up for the credits for 38 minutes. Dude, he got the buff, nice. Good buff take. A bit of Persona 4. Enemy tower under attack. I'm coming, Ra. No. No. No way we retreat, dude. We get vengeance for my fallen comrade. No one kills Ira twice and gets away with it. Quadra kill for me? Oh my god. Oh my. With my own eyes. Excuse me. 
Kind of looks like my support just blinked to steal Goldberg. Maybe you guys saw something different than me. That's definitely what I saw. <laughs> Worth. Yeah. 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 Oh. I like you take two right waves, dude, and suddenly my mid tower is falling. I'm telling you, every game. Uh, it's just gone. I literally leave mid for one wave and it's just over. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Large green ninja. Yes. Accurate. Ooh, the engage. Looking juicy. For the enemy. For us. The drama. I really didn't hit my uh, Q. Didn't hit him here, really. Oh man. I have to kill him again. What a pain. Where is the wave, by the way? <laughs> I'm down, but uh. Oh! Absolutely styled on. Let's not get anything here. Nobody picked Power A. This game's winnable, you know? Oh my god, he went Liberator? He's too smart. He knows. He knows he has to cleanse the plant. Must be empty on a smurf. <laughs> Looking a little stuck, brother. Oh, bug. What have you done, Ray? An ally has perished. <laughs> Got him with the pasta. <laughs> Chaotic Core? That's just an item? What the heck? <laughs> Enemy towers destroyed. I don't know. If, if I was against any ADC that isn't stronger, I maybe could have like done something back, but... Dude just fucking silences me to my death. Cool's a bit risky, but I trust Ira with my life. Burn time so fast, don't you? Oh, he didn't, he took the prime for himself this game. I thought that was quite disrespectful. Change will come. Ooh, 
Ooh, the galaxy thunk from uptown. Ooh, no grenade! It's my time! Good. He's too powerful. Oh my god, aggro! What? Oh, because Stasis doesn't drop it, I forgot. Okay, but the ult was kind of disgusting, no? Where's my murder hole? Follow up. I'm just going pinging me. What do I want? Uh, I don't mind a spellbreaker actually. I'm not sure it's going to matter. What I build. <laughs> I'll try to build. Oh no. Team. Alright, guys, coming down mid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm here. I'm here for the turn. I wish I wasn't freaking silenced my whole damn life. <laughs> the curious usage of the Gideon ult, if you ask me. Hit it! I'm gonna do a cool stasis to finish the game. Get a cool stasis pose. Yo! Why didn't he end the call? So, then it would have zoomed in on me doing a cool, a cool pose. I was dunking on him. She was doing the dunk, you know.